To get started is always difficult, especially on YouTube today in 2021. The competition is huge, you post videos, they get only a few views, this hits your motivation hard, but fortunately there are 5 free ways to promote your channel which we're gonna talk about in today's video. And it doesn't matter if you have 1000 subscribers or zero. And let's go! Hi, my name is Otto, this is the Mobile Vlog and the first and perhaps the most powerful way to promote your YouTube channel today is TikTok, Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts. And in order to prove our point, we have already launched our TikTok account which has 22,000 subscribers and some videos get almost 400,000 views. This is a massive traffic that can be used to promote your YouTube channel. But to get this amount of views, there are some tips that I want to give you right now. And the first tip is define your niche. Just just like on YouTube, it is extremely important to define a niche before making these short videos. And if you use your account in TikTok, Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts to promote your YouTube channel, then these accounts need to be within the same niche as your main YouTube channel. And there is nothing wrong with following trends on TikTok, but if trends is the only thing you create, you will end up with a bunch of trends on your account. You may even gain 100,000 subscribers or even more, but among these subscribers, there may be very few or there may be no subscribers at all that you need on your main YouTube channel. To prevent this, focus on your niche, then upload and upload and upload. The second tip is create a structure of your content. Each video should have a structure. What structure do you use to make your short videos to get views? The first thing you need to make sure is that you are making an original content, that you do not steal other people's videos, but make your own original visual and your own original sound. That means you should focus on showing something new on the platform, making your own content and not stealing anything. TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, they all stand for you to have an original content. This is very important for them and they will definitely promote this content. The next thing is trending content. You need to identify trends and think about how you can bring these trends together in your niche. Firstly, you should initially understand the specific style of this content that is built on songs and dances that is funny and cheerful, I think you already understand all of this perfectly, you can just re-upload a YouTube video, you need to optimize it. And with this understanding, you need to go to the search tab and find some trending hashtags. Then you can look for various popular tracks that are currently in the top and then also look for various challenges that are currently getting views. And you can take for example some challenge to repeat it in your niche. Or the simplest thing is to take a popular track and shoot something in your niche with this track. In this way you'll be able to stand out because you take what everyone is doing and present it from your point of view in your niche. And perhaps my most favorite structure is the promise of action. At the beginning some result is shown, some intrigue, then it is shown how it was created and the result itself at the end. A huge number of viral videos are built on this principle. That is for example, you can say at the beginning, that's how I made this effect. Then there is a voiceover tutorial and the result at the end. Or for example, here's how to make a delicious dessert in one minute. And most importantly, at the very beginning, the first shot shows the result and possibly some other writings. A very powerful structure that can potentially get a lot of views. Success on YouTube comes with many things. Choosing your promotion tactics we're talking about in today's episode is just one of them. Editing is important too. Some of you might know that Movavi Video Suite 2022 has been recently released, but if you don't know what this product is about, let me tell you more. Movavi Video Suite 2022 is a content creation platform that combines video editing, screen recording and video conversion tools in one place to help creators in a wide variety of YouTube niches save time making their videos from scratch. Video Suite doesn't require the latest top-of-the-line computer to run smoothly, which is super convenient for those who can't afford a powerful device, and learning to use Video Suite doesn't take long. The subscription format allows you to get free programs value for the price of one app. And you also get all updates and new features that will be released over the next 12 months. I'm not gonna talk much about all the updates of Movavi Video Suite 2022 because everything you might need to know about it is in this video. And if you feel like getting Movavi Video Suite 2022, don't hesitate to use our coupon for 20% discount on the one-year subscription by clicking the link below. Number three, optimize hashtags. We will use 
hashtags to help the platform's algorithm promote content to the right audience, the audience that will be interested in your YouTube channel. That's why under each video, write a few hashtags that have an exact relationship to your audience that you need. As a result, you will get the right people for your YouTube channel. Number four, create a regular upload schedule. If you want to grow on these platforms, you need to upload videos regularly. And here I can recommend posting two or three times a day, but I think if your main goal is the growth of your YouTube channel, then it might be too much, two platforms at the same time. That's why I recommend at least one video a day. And it's not necessarily something very difficult to come up with. You can make videos out of your main videos on YouTube, adjust them to this format and upload them. Believe me, from one 10 minute video on YouTube, you can easily create about three TikToks. Be patient and you will receive a reward in views. Number five, focus on the most important metric. Here you need to focus on the audience retention and how many times they have shared your video. The success of your videos will mainly depend on this. Also likes and comments, they're also important but already play a secondary role. Since most of you are making YouTube videos, I would advise you to pay close attention to the first shot in short videos. It is like a thumbnail on YouTube because people scroll through the videos very quickly and if the first second or two do not catch their attention, they scroll on. So the first thing is to grab their attention with something catchy and then hold it until the end. Or even better, if they watch it over and over again. As a result, with this approach, create your original short videos and distribute them across all platforms, TikTok, Instagram and YouTube Shorts. If you have a new channel, I would advise you to upload these shorts directly to this channel. But if you already have a channel with, for example, several hundred or thousands of subscribers, then I would advise creating a separate channel only for shorts and then move the audience from there to the main channel. The second way to promote your YouTube channel is groups, forums, and blogs. Let's talk about groups and forums first. The idea here is exactly the same as with short videos. You need to determine which groups and forums exactly your target audience is sitting in. One of the most common mistakes that beginners make, they're looking for some popular groups and forums with a big audience and with a lot of views, but this won't promote your channel the way you imagine it because, well, they will go to your video they will watch it, uh, well maybe they will subscribe, but to be honest it would be better if they did not. Because they don't see your other videos and they might make a reflexive decision to subscribe and as a result they won't watch your other videos. You don't need this, you need to have the right views, so look for groups exactly according to your niche. Let there be fewer subscribers, but if you are sure that your viewers are in there, choose it. Join this group and take your time, do not immediately spam your video. First, realize what this group is actually about, what they're talking about, what topics. And let's say someone asks, does anybody know how to do something? And you're like, oh, I have a video on this topic. That's it. You will get the exact viewer you need. You provide value, they subscribe and start to follow your main videos on your main channel. That's the idea here. And also make sure that you don't add the whole video to a post because YouTube needs people that are right on YouTube. Leave a link add a thumbnail of your video so that they click on the link and continue watching it directly on YouTube. The same goes for blogs. Find blogs that make content exactly in your niche. The bottom line is that they are the same creators as you. The only difference is that they make text content mostly, but they also need some media content, some photos, some videos, and you can provide them with these videos. So you found a blog, open contacts and write them saying, hi, great content in your blog. I can provide you with an interesting and video for your topics. Here's a link to my channel. Show them what you can give them and see what happens. The third one is to get organic views right on YouTube. Perhaps the most important part of this video, you should understand that new channels have almost no YouTube recommendations. Whether it's even the coolest channel that can get to 1 million subscribers in a year, it will also have few recommendations. YouTube needs time to figure out what your audience is and only then you will start getting views. All you need to do is to analyze your niche, make a good thumbnail, make a good interesting video that will probably have good audience retention and then just wait. I understand that this can kill your motivation, you don't have views, it feels like you're posting for nothing, but in fact YouTube just needs time to figure out your audience. I have a new channel called Authorwiner where the first video started to succeed about a month later, maybe even two to three months. They were just stuck there, about 
20 views in total, and only then the growth began. When the channel is small, YouTube needs a lot of time to analyze everything and understand where to promote it. So YouTube recommendations is your ultimate goal. Despite the small amount of views, keep posting anyway, and sooner or later, if you do everything correctly, as we told you, sooner or later you will have recommendations. YouTube is not broken, it will work out. But the visible traffic that you can start getting right now, even with no subscribers, is traffic from YouTube search. YouTube is a search platform and due to this, if you shoot a video on some search topic, optimize the video correctly, you can get amazing traffic from this source. How to do it? It's very simple. Of course, the first thing is a good thumbnail and a good video itself. And along with all this, think about what is the popular and most obvious keyword in your niche. Then download vidIQ, install it in Google Chrome, open the keyword inspector, write this keyword there and a whole list of similar keywords will appear. Then just look for keywords where the competition is very low, low or medium because you have a small channel. Don't even pay much attention to the search volume because competition is the most important thing for you right now. You need to enter a zone where you can compete. Therefore, select 80% of the tags with very low, low or medium competition and you can keep the remaining 20% with very high and high competition. Number five is Google Ads, a great way to get additional views, but only if you have completed everything that I described above. If you have at least a few videos on the channel and you have done everything, then you are ready to set up your ad. And yes, it's not free, but you don't need a lot of money to get additional views this way. So when you're ready to set up your ad, open Google Ads and click on the blue button, new campaign. In the select the goal section, click on create a campaign without a goals guidance, because the goals are made for sales, not for promoting a channel. Then select video campaign, and we're interested in the custom video campaign. In the description it says, customize your own settings with skippable in-stream ads, exactly what we need. Click continue, bid strategy leave as is, maximum CPV cost per view. In the budget and date section, write down a total campaign budget. Of course, the more the better, but today we're gonna play around with five to $10. For the start date, I will select today, and for the end date, I want it to run for seven days. Keep in mind that the longer it will run, the more views you will get for the same budget. Networks live as is, don't touch it, location, select all countries and territories because we need to get as many views as possible, languages, select all languages, and inventory type live on standard inventory. Write down an ad group name, demographics and audiences, also leave it as is. The same thing goes for keywords, topics and placements. At the bottom of the page you need to paste a link to a video, so copy your video's link and paste it here. Then a video ad format, we need the skippable in-stream ad, paste the final URL here. And the most important thing to do is to select the maximum CPV bit. Your maximum CPV bit is the highest amount you're willing to pay for someone to view your video at. This bit will affect how many impressions and how many views your video will approximately get. Here put the lowest bit that Google allows you to. This ad campaign will increase your audience retention, whereas audience retention is one of the key indicators that YouTube appreciates. And if you've made an engaging video, you've created a thumbnail that stands out and you've selected the right tags, then with the help of this campaign you will boost your video up in search results and you will start getting organic views that matter the most for YouTube. So you need this ad campaign to find the organic views as fast as possible, from search results and then from YouTube recommendations. It works if you correctly apply each point that I've mentioned in this video. And if you want to learn more about setting up Google Ads, then check out this video. Also smash the like button if this video was helpful to you and see you in the next video.